Welcome one, welcome all. We are back in the drop zone, the game drop zone, here to talk about Sony at E3 with our predictions and expectations. My name is Carl Schumann, your name is Matthew Kershaw. Konnichiwa, okay, ka? Absolutely. Um, I'll play the American Jack Tretton. We need guns at this press conference. You play the Japanese person with your fucking weebu feathered hair. Please understand. Absolutely. You, you be the shi- Shuhei Yoshida for this. Um, oh man, I wish I was Suhei su- su- <laughs> Absolutely. I wish I wish I was Jack Trenton. I wish he was back because, like, I, Sean Layden never looks comfortable on stage, or at least he hasn't for the last year. You know, like PlayStation Experience and stuff. Like Andy House is cool, but he's better when he speaks Japanese. I'm like. We need Andy House, that's a name I vaguely remember. Is he the one you were saying was super hot last year? No, he's the guy who was on that Kojima video, speaking mad Japanese. This all is, I don't remember any of this. You remember when Kojima was announced as, like, signing on for Sony? Yeah, roughly. That video they released that morning was, like, you know, with super rough-looking Kojima and his goatee and stuff. The yeah. guy who he was with, the white guy, was Andy House, and he was just speaking mad Japanese. It was hey, insane. I can, I, I can do that. I'm, I can speak mad Japanese. You should go watch that video. That man is like, you would think he's actually Asian, even though he's decidedly white. And he has the <clears throat> most pathetic goatee. Anyway, PlayStation 4, I predict Andy House will be on stage to talk about Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare. Oh, yeah. And how that'll have DLC first on PlayStation, because it's the home of Call of Duty players now. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think we'll see that there. I think we'll also maybe see, like, here's another two minutes of, like, montage from, uh, what's it called? Modern Warfare Remastered? Oh, yeah. I could almost imagine them doing more of that than I could of, like, Infinite Warfare, given how the internet reacted. I mean, have you seen that they've rebranded all of their marketing to make it not look spacey and futuristic? Because people don't want this game. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's disappointing. Like, imagine if they just re- imagine if they suddenly turned into a World War One game. <laughs> like, here's you've got six months to develop it quickly. Take all the spaceships out, replace it with blimps. I know it's just super weird. Like, I don't. <laughs> the, the reaction to that game has just insane. It's got like the most dislikes of any video game ever. A video game trailer on YouTube. Yeah, watch out though. It'll still sell like fucking I don't, X million. Oh, of course it will. People are like, oh my god, Battlefield One looks so much better than this game, and then they'll go out and buy the game anyway. They're not even the same kind of game though. Like, I can understand a person liking both. Like, I like both, but if you're a Call of Duty player, you do not want to play Battlefield. Yeah, pretty much. Meanwhile, uh, Battlefield players tend to play both games. Yeah, well, I mean, they're very different. They're shooters, but that's about it. Mm. Um. Do you reckon we'll see the Destiny expansion? Because we've had such a big reveal of that already with their stream yesterday. That was weird that they even showed that stream this close to E3. I was expecting a teaser, but not like, here's all the facts on what you're getting. Like, the number of strikes, the raid and stuff. Like, hmm. It was weird. That, mm. I can't decide whether or not that's going to be like a good expansion pack, like Rise, uh, like to Taken King. Or like a slightly bigger version of like House of Wolves or something really difficult to tell Um, it's called Rise of Iron they are adding new zones and like raising the level cap and stuff like that but it's releasing at $30 not $40 which is what Taken King was so I don't know if that's like signal I can't imagine Activision being like yeah sell it for $10 less because we want to make our fans happy we're going to deliver this really cool thing but I'm almost worried that like no this is getting the short shrift and they know it so drop the price $10 Mm. hmm it it just seems weird to me. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if we'll see that or not. I'm sure they'll mention it, if nothing else. Maybe it'll be like a montage of something we haven't seen. And Maybe. they've said um, that like Crucible is a big part of that, so I wonder if that's actually the thing. Is there's not much story content in it, but he is ten multiplayer maps that nobody gets excited about, even if they play it. Mm. Uh, Are you at least excited for it because you play enough Destiny? Oh yeah, I'm going to be there day one. We're going to have every piece of content streamed on this website. Absolutely. You can get the black Galahorn and make a video on it. It's the Iron Galahorn, thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to pre-order for that hot bundle. <laughs> um, I think you do actually have a pre-order to get the Iron Galahorn. You do, Yalahorn. Yeah. 
but let's crack on with some first party stuff if you want. Sure, I won't know 90% of the stuff. Uh, Detroit, which I know you know. That's good only because I just looked it up while we were setting up recording. Absolutely. That's going to be another hot Quantic Dreams banger. I suspect it'll have some serious problems with the writing, but maybe weird and, you know, look graphically impressive. That's got to be there. I think they've actually confirmed that is there. I read a press I mean, release it, about that. It's on the Wikipedia article, so if everything here is fact. Well, if, if the fucking internet's crowdsourced it, we know it's right. Mm-hmm. Neocop's never been wrong about anything. Uh, God of War 4. Speculation, but if they are launching a new console, that's one of the rumoured things that I'm going to be on it. Um, it's the next Gears of War from Sony Santa Monica. Um, I'm excited about that. I know a lot of people... It's the same as Gears of War, isn't it? Um, in that a lot of people like... They like the old one, but they don't necessarily want a fourth. Yeah. So I can understand that, but I'm just ex- I just want to play another game like that. I don't care if it's called Gears of War, Gods of War. What did I call it the first time? Did I call it God of War or Gears of War? I don't know, man. I'm like zoning out. You're talking about weird Asian games, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's nothing Asian about Kratos, but I'm just looking forward to that game personally. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Dinosaur mech game. Oh, I remember that from the trailer last year. That's coming out March next year, so that'll be there. Really? Wow, okay. Gravity Rush 2, um, which is the sequel to the PlayStation Vita. It's now on PS4. Do, do you even know what this game is? No. It's super Japanese. It's like, here's this anime girl with a cat. She can control gravity. Um, and there's fucking like space tentacle blobs coming out trying to catch her. I like most of those things you just said. I really liked Gravity Rush 1 on the Vita. I didn't play it on the PS4 re-release. Um, but Gravity Rush 2, they've done... I don't know if they showed a demo at it on TGS last year, but there's definitely screenshots if not gameplay out there, and it just it looks beautiful, like you know, an, almost like an art piece. And that's coming from Sony Japan Studio, their um, their catch-all like Japanese developer. Uh, the Last Guardian. I know that's going to be there because it's on the cover of Edge magazine this month. Um, so I, I I have no strong feelings about this game. I don't, but I want to play it because I want to know what it is. You know, I've never played any of the other games from that developer, like Ico and stuff. So I'm interested in it for the dog bird. But yeah, I, I, I can see that game. I can see that game coming out and like nobody giving a shit. You know, it, it's happened a few times this year where like, you know, with like some of these date remasters, like um, was it the Tentacle and stuff, like everyone's really excited about it. Nobody talks about it when it releases. Um, yeah, I could see that happening for that game, unless it's awesome or unless it's terrible. Like, it could work either way, couldn't it? I guess. I mean, whatever. I mean, even last year I said I don't understand why people are hyped for this game, and I still don't. I think it's a lot of a reason, like, Silent Fantasy VII, which is getting a remake, which might be on the stage here too, in that, like, a lot of people played it when they bought a PS2 when they were, like, uh, you know, I don't know, 14, maybe, say? Between the age of 12 and 16, where those are the formative games that, like, stay with you. I guess it I, it must be a big dose a dose of nostalgia. I think so, but I'm I think it just looks artistically interesting enough for me, um, and I kind of want to know if it's just been if it's like it could be like Doom. You know how Doom was in development for like a decade or whatever. Like it's either going to be great or it's going to be fucking like Duke Nukem Forever. So I just want to see that. Do not wish that upon any game. You're going to scratch the alien goatee in uh, Last Guardian. <laughs> There's a game called Dead Don't Ride, which is rumoured it's meant to be leaked by Sony Bend. Bend being the people who made a lot of uh, PSP and I think Vita games that people liked. Um, I don't know anything about that. I forgot to look it up, I'm afraid. It sounds uh, like some like game where you're a skeleton riding like a jet black motorcycle. It reminded me of another game that might be there called Drawn to Death. Did you see this at PlayStation Experience last year? No. It's like, uh, do you know who David Jaffe is? No. He's the very sweary um, front man for like Twisted Metal and stuff. Uh, and he totally got up on stage, I think PlayStation Experience, and unveiled this game Drawn to Death. I think I called it live. Drawn to Death. It's like a multiplayer game, but like the art style is if somebody's sketchbook, but it's like dead angsty teen. So it's a lot of skulls and like blood and stuff. And it fucking everyone hated it. But that was the reaction, basically. So I wonder if that'll be there, if it's been canned yet. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I've never heard of this. 
it's it, it nobody liked it basically all the, the public conception was one of this just looks terrible and like angsty teens um, and it was a multiplayer game and it, it had nothing going for it basically i reckon we'll see an indie montage a hot five minutes of here's some upcoming indie games they want to, uh, they probably have that at microsoft as well with like cuphead and stuff yeah uh, vr montage they can't not have that on stage and of course, there'll be. I think there'll be a heavy VR presence this year for them. Yeah, I mean it's different than last year, isn't it? Where you know they're actually launching it in a couple of months. Mm. And also, I think they announced a couple of new games like this week, like the, some of the pre E three stuff. Um, so I don't know if they'll turn up or not. But some of them look weird, like the harmonics music one, where it's like you just listen to your music inside VR, but then play around in these spaces where like the environment's moving to the music, you know, whatever music you choose to listen to. Mm. Um, so maybe you know it was colorful enough that you could see that on the stage and look cool. And there was something else too, something really uh, tethered. It's like a strategy game. I haven't watched the trailers for it, but I think that got announced or it had a big push this week. Yeah. Um, we mentioned Final Fantasy Remake. Do you reckon Shenmue will be there? After last year? Uh, what's Shenmue again? It's the fucking Se- Shenmue 3. It's the Sega game by Yu Suzuki. Yu... Yu Suzuki. We're going with that. It was a Kickstarter. You know, they had the guy come up on stage and like, we're launching the Kickstarter in 5, 4. Oh, I, I remember that now. Yeah, okay. That'll um, be there. I don't, think, I don't know if they've shown anything off that game since they got their money. It did get funded. They've got some outs- external backers as well. Um, so you'd expect at least a trailer or something, wouldn't you? Like a follow-up. Maybe, uh, yeah. Gran Turismo Sport. They, I think they showed this at a comp- showed this at an event or something a couple of weeks back. So I would assume that'll be there. Um, I don't know if that's got a date yet, but I believe the Isle of Man TT course is meant to be in that game. Yes, yes, it is. Um, that's kind of cool, I guess. It's the TT right now. There are bikes flying down the road outside my house at over 100 miles an hour. It's very noisy. Really annoying. I hate it. I was going to say, do you like that? Because I'm pissed off and I live in the other side of the island where there is you know, there's bikes but they're only on like normal people. No, it's it's terrible here. It's so crowded you can't drive without having bikes fly past you. Helicopters just flying over my house every five seconds. Yeah, it's worth putting into perspective. This is like fucking backwater. There's like two people who live on this island excluding us. Like, this is normally just the calmest, slowest place in the world. And then for two weeks, it goes... Uh, not even two weeks, it's like a month, because people come early and they stay late, and it just goes crazy, and it's just a real pain for everyone who lives here. Yeah. Unless you love watching bikes go around, a, go around the same track year after year for decades. I guess, but I'm tired of being up at 1am and hearing the big grandstands and, like, a big music festival going on outside my house. Yeah, that's gotta be bad, knowing where you live. Um... So Grand Theft Auto Sport, you know, bring back all those hot memories of the TT this year on PlayStation 4. I think it's this year. It's got to be this year. They haven't released a game since the PS3. Yeah, probably. Uh, Dreams. That weird fucking make your own content slash story slash oh, game. Oh, I remember that. That looks like... By Media yeah. Molecule. Yeah. I don't know what that's going to be, but that's got to be there, and it's got to be in VR. Surely. That's going to be like you just... You may as well just get high and play that game because you're going to have the same experience. I made this polar bear go down a mountain as I vaped. I just, oh, fucking vaping in VR. Like, people must do that. That just sounds like the fucking worst. That's the dystopian future that we're moving towards. That's like the most hipsterous thing ever. That's like if you took the 80s, like took a slice out of the 80s or the 70s and then just put it in 2016, that's what people would be doing. Yeah, people have just got to start, like, attaching fucking mains power lines to people vape rigs when they're in VR. Just, like, kill them all. <laughs> Rid us off this fucking hellish future. Um, I have nothing against vaping, just the people who do it. Do you reckon we'll see anything from Naughty Dog? You know, they launched Uncharted 4 about a month ago. There's rumours of Uncharted 2 floating around for, like, over a year now. Do you, you think we'll see two. any of that? Sorry, Last of Us 2. Uh, I, I think maybe they'll put Meh, I don't know. I don't. I don't keep up to date with the Sony stuff. I barely keep up to date with the Microsoft stuff. It's it's interesting because uh, I know part of like the reason Uncharted got pushed a lot, and they've came out later and said that they want to get away from crunch. They want to make the best game possible and not worry about deadlines. So I wonder if because of that fact alone, like we won't see you know Last of Us for like another year or two. 
if that's what they're making, they might not be. Mm. I hope they don't make another Last of Us because the first one was so. It was like one of those games that you could almost call perfect, but then somebody would bitch about you using the word perfect. Yeah. It's such a beautiful game. And there probably isn't a need to announce something from them yet because, like, we've so many other first party developers this year and, like, at least up to early next year with Horizon Zero Dawn. Probably no need. Yeah. Um, the Tomorrow Children, that weird fucking Minecraft with a sketchy art style thing. They showed it off last year. I don't know if you know any of this. It was a super no, weird game. People seem into it. I don't know most of the things you're saying here. Unless oh. it was there last year, I don't know about it. It was there last year. It's from a team that did something people liked, and I can't remember. Um, but, I, you know, I assume that, that... I know it's not out yet. They had a beta uh, several months ago. so Maybe they'll get a date. Maybe we'll know more about that. Uh, I imagine this might be part of the indie montage, but Pyre... The next game from Supermassive, the Transistor People. That got revealed about a month back now, and that looks cool. Um, it's like a weird fucking sports strategy RPG game um, with a really cool art style. Hellblade, which now has a subtitle I can't remember, involving the words Senua. Senua's Revenge? What? Senua's Trial? Hellblade, right? It's this. It's a psychological trauma game about like a Viking woman. It's um, by Ninja Theory. It's weird. I'm sure that'll be there. They've had it at like at least one E3 before. Um, and yeah, that's my list. Also, PS4 Neo. We discussed it a little bit in the Microsoft press conference uh, rundown we did. Did we? Yeah, we mentioned it, didn't we? Um, uh, rumored to be out this yeah. October. Or this yeah, fall, okay, let's say. A more powerful version of the PS4. I think it's got like a lot better processing. I think it's like significantly powerful, but it might not manifest. It might just mean significantly powerful so you can do all this 4K stuff. Um, all games will be playable on both. All games will have a PS4. It's called the Neo codename. I'm sure they won't call it that because that's a really weird thing. Um, but all games are going to have... All games shipping from September, I'm going to have a Neo and a base mode. Um, so I don't know what that's going to do to the size of discs and installs. Yeah, it's it's strange, everything that's happening it's it's strange, but it's exciting. You know, you can look at it in two ways, kind of. You like this will be the end of everything and the end of games, and we'll be stuck with indie games and like German strategy games for the rest of our lives on Windows Ten. <laughs> Fuck. Or you can be like, you know, this is cool, and they might kill themselves doing it, but you know, something's gonna happen over this next two years. What if like Microsoft and Sony kill themselves by doing this, and Nintendo just you know reigns supreme? I, I had that exact thought. I've thought a lot about where the three of them sit. Um, and I, the, yeah, the NX could be either the NX could either fucking kill it, or it could be another Wii U. I don't see a middle ground for anyone here. Yeah, it's video games are dying. That's that's what I think. Is. Sony will be fine because they've got a market share. So I think like even if PSVR will it will hit more people. I think the PSVR will do the numbers just because it's like. You know, 50 million people have PS4s. There's an install base there. It's not that much more. You know, it's only 300. It's not like you're having to buy a whole new computer and a VR headset or whatever. So I imagine that will sell reasonably well. Um, and like, you know, 4K TVs are meant to be like hitting, well, they're already hitting in, you know, affordable prices and stuff. So maybe there's a market for the 4K and the next Xbox thing. Oh, God. What if. What if the the new like Xbox and new the uh, Neo and the uh, new Xbox they weren't consoles they were just like old school add-ons you plug into your consoles to give them more power? There's no way. That's Could you happen. imagine that? Could you imagine having like a PS4 and it's got like seven things plugged into it all around it to be able to use your VR headset? That's actually why Microsoft are waiting until next year to release their thing is because they're just going to wait till the PS4's out and then give you a PS4 with your Xbox One. Um, just plug that right in there. Yep. And then you can play all the hot VR games on PlayStation VR on the Microsoft Xbox One home entertainment console. It's not the Xbox One anymore. It's Xbox the Xbox. Helium. Helios. Helix. They should call it something cool. They should call it the Neo. I want that. Well, them to steal the code names. The PS4 is like, yeah, we got co code name Neo. And then Xbox. Xbox Neo. This summer, 2017. Could you imagine if like the console manufacturers named their shit like graphics cards did? 
you know, graphics cards on motherboards. So it's like Republic of Xbox Razor Core Sabertooth Edition, <laughs> nine ninety nine, like ten pounds, and you can get this hot new Xbox One. <laughs> How cool would that be, though? They should just they should just like ask Kojima to name the consoles because could you imagine that? Fucking, I'll keep coming. Do you reckon Kojima will be at the Sony press conference? Oh, of course. He'll come on stage and he'll just ejaculate all over the people, and it'll just go on for five minutes as he screams, "I'll keep coming." <laughs> There's just Andrew Howe speaking in Japanese again, just like I want to introduce a very influential person. Happy to have him. You know, the Sony brand or whatever comes on. He's not even wearing pants. He's already taken them off. <laughs> or no, he's wearing pants, but they're like you know stitched up at the side, so we can just pull them off in one sweet motion. Yeah, and just starts jacking off on the front audience. All those PlayStation fans there to clap. Yeah. Yeah, they just clap and open their mouths as his logo appears behind him on the stage. Homo Ludens is just fucking <laughs> flashing on the big screen. Yeah. Uh, Homo Ludens, we're here to play. I'll keep coming, hashtag. <laughs> I, I, I could see him being there with a, like some bullshit trailer that doesn't actually tell you anything about what he's working on. You know, like he has 10 seconds off like the word play in some smoke. <laughs> and then the sound of, like, it's not quite the Metal Gear Alert sound, but it kind of is. Yeah. Like, something like that. No, I reckon it'll, it'll just be, like, a 20-minute video on, like, just a, gr- a gr- rough, like, gruff voiceover talking about the economic fall-down in his new game's universe <sighs> at 20 minutes like straight. Some live-action doves just flying past. Yeah. <laughs> I w- I, what I would genuinely love was, uh, he has, like, a two, you know, like, um... Uh, during the last Nintendo Direct and stuff, they had like, here's a couple of minutes about the, here's the developers talking about the, you know, fucking Kirby or whatever it is. I, I would love something like that where it's like, here's pictures of fucking Kojima and his artist sketching out or something. Like just a short thing, just a minute or two, just teasing that they're working on something, you know? Yeah, I reckon that's what they'll do, because why wouldn't they? I, I'm really interested in Kojima. I wish he was doing it for everything, you know? But, um,. I'm just excited. He's somebody's paying him money to make video games. Yeah, I, I wish I wish he'd be making those games for the Xbox One as well, but I guess not. Yeah, I mean, if not, you maybe they'll go PC, PS. I don't, who fucking knows? The console in space is so weird right now. Mm. Um, but yeah, I haven't got anything more to like. I don't want to talk more about the PS4, the Neo, and stuff because I think we really need to be sold on what these things are. We need to see what they're going to say about it. Because at the moment, that is so much speculation. Yeah. And I think we've rattled off all the games that I either think will be there or we know will be there. Um, I really want Gears of War. God of War. Fuck. Do you you reckon they're going to show that Ubisoft Eagle game there for their VR demo? Oh, absolutely. That's going to be the leading one. Good. Open strong with that. Open open strong with Call of Duty. Nobody likes it. Hashtag. And um, Eagle Flight. Ubisoft's yep. finest. They've cut a studio. They closed Ubisoft Casablanca yesterday. Did they? Uh, which was 45 people, I think. Um, they were a smaller studio. They worked on things like Valiant Hearts and Rabbids and stuff. But they've been around like 20 years. So that's sad to hear. Yeah, that's a shame. People liked Valiant Hearts. Yeah, the games people liked, they're going to cut all them. But we're going to keep making Watch Dogs. Oh. Watch Dogs. Splinter Cell. I would, I would be alright with another Splinter Cell. But I think that's us for Sony. Unless yeah, you have right. You just made me want to kill myself with the idea of Watch Dogs 2. Watch underscore dogs underscore 2 hashtag hackers for life. Hack culture. They do it for the lols. Hack kids. Lol <clears throat> sick. Duh. Fuck that game. We'll be back for another uh, E3, pre-E3 uh, podcast when we talk about Nintendo, Katakawa games, and all the rest. So check back at GameDropZone.com for that. Um, see you again. Sayonara. Sayonara.